Hi, Baden Believers! This week we're learning about the artist Friedensreich Hundertwasser. Hundertwasser was an Austrian artist who's known for his paintings that have wavy lines and beautiful bright colors. His name is actually one of his artistic creations as well. His parents named him Friedrich Stowasser, but when he became an artist, he decided to make up his own name. So he gave himself the name Friedensreich Regentag Dunkelbund Hundertwasser. He chose each of those words because they had a special meaning. His name translates to realm of peace, rainy day, dark bright hundred water. Dunkelbund, which means dark bright, is an expression that Hundertwasser actually invented himself. Hundertwasser said Dunkelbund meant glowing in pure, strong, and deep colors like you'd see on a rainy day. And his artwork is full of beautiful glowing colors. His artwork is also filled with wavy lines. Hundertwasser said that he did not like straight lines. He said, today we live in a chaos of straight lines, a jungle of straight lines. If you do not believe this, take the trouble to count the straight lines which surround you. Then you will understand or you will never finish counting. If you want, you can pause the video right now and try to count all the straight lines in the room around you and see how long it takes. Hunter Twasser believed that if he wanted to change something, you had to be part of the change. So he filled his art with beautiful wavy lines and spirals and circles. Hunter Twasser thought that the buildings in most cities were very boring and that they were too separate from nature. So he decided to make a change by becoming an architect and designing his own buildings. His buildings are just as exciting as his paintings. He designed buildings with wavy walls and bumpy floors and plants growing on the roof and even trees growing from inside the building. Hunter Twasser is one of my favorite artists because he didn't just make paintings. He made buildings, he designed his own clothes, he was an inventor. He believed that everything could be beautiful and everything could be art. Time for some art ideas. You can be inspired by Hunter Twasser to draw your own landscape that has wavy lines, spirals, swirls, and concentric circles. Concentric means that there's circles inside of other circles. People often call Hunter Twasser's trees lollipop trees. Hunter Twasser sometimes hid faces in his landscapes. I'm going to fill in my hills with wavy lines. You can use whatever drawing or painting materials you'd like for this. I really enjoy doing crayon resist, which is when you draw with crayons and then paint over top with watercolors. Hundertwasser buildings and cities are really fun to draw. You don't have to worry about straight lines because Hundertwasser did not believe in them. And you can really let your imagination go wild with rooftop gardens, slides coming out of windows, trees growing out of windows. Hunter Twasser used a lot of patterns in his pictures of buildings. Hunter Twasser believed that everyone should have the right to paint outside their window as far as their arms could reach, so I'm making all the windows on my building a little bit different. My building is inspired by Hunter Twasser's bright colors and his use of patterns, but feel free to make your building follow your own inspiration. Hunter Twasser designed inventions and his own clothing. This is a design for a system that purifies water using plants. I decided to make my own clothing design out of these scraps of fabric. You can draw your clothing or invention designs, or you can ask a grown-up if they have any fabric scraps or old catalogs or magazines that you can use to collage with. Before an architect builds a building, they build a small version of it, an architectural model. Here's Hunter Twasser with one of his models. I decided to try to make my own architectural model out of pieces of cardboard from the recycling bin. Cardboard boxes make great buildings and tubes can make great towers. Hunter Twasser loved incorporating nature and recycled materials into his work. So check out what's in your recycling bin and maybe what you can find outside and see if you want to add any of it to your model. Thank you for exploring Hunter Twasser's art with me. I hope you had fun and I can't wait to see what you create.